First Updates Now videos are brought to you by Stryker. Discover why so many FIRST alumni and mentors are putting Stryker first when it comes to their careers, internships, and co-ops. Visit careers.stryker.com forward slash first to learn more. Oh, and then we might want to come around to this side to actually see the mechanical part of it. Yeah. So, yeah. All right. So, all right. Hey. Yeah. Uh, all right. So, um. <laughs> hi, this is Samantha from First Capital, Robot in Three Days. This is Andrew. So, we're going to um, show you our color wheel spinner mechanism. Um, so, what we have here is... Um, a Neo 550 motor with a Versa planetary gearbox, and then we have a compliant wheel, uh, three inch, and then a Rev V3 color sensor mounted right onto that to view the color. Um, so it's mounted on this long arm, which then um, right here is mounted a, um, which is actually coming out right now, mounted to the uh, end of a seven inch piston, which is our cylinder, which is then mounted down to our A-frame of our elevator. Um, so this will act as a pivot, so it'll bring it down into our frame perimeter and then bring it up. So our strategy for um, doing the color wheel is to come along the wall with our bumpers rubbing its edge to line up to the color wheel. Um, so this is the edge of the field here. So that way we get our arm in a known position every time. Um, because if the arm is slightly over, the color we're sensing to have it lined up would be different. Um, and this way we know which way. Um, so what we do is we will raise our arm all the way up, um, drive forward, and then bring it back down. So that puts um, pressure on this um, and then also allows us to get it on. And then we can do the spinning. Um, now let's quickly talk about some of the uh, control that we've implemented for this. Um, for running it uh, about three and a half times, we're using the integrated encoder on this Rev brushless motor. Um, um, and then for the uh, color wheel here, so we're going to um, run it so it's uh, the field was the yellow but we see green um, unfortunately we're already on green so you're gonna need to press it twice um, oh no we're good um, uh, so here we're just running at a slower speed um, just to make sure we see the color in time we're uh, maybe need to tune it a, a little bit better just to make sure we get the uh, the yellow sliced where the field can see it um, but we're just basically looking at uh, what the uh, the rough color sensor is seeing and stopping when we see the color that we're looking for, um, and then running it just a little bit over so we can get into uh, ab about the middle of the color. Um, not bad for uh, 3 a.m. implementation. 3:30. 3:30 a.m. Um, and I think now we're going to demo uh, just backing up to show how the uh, arm stows. and we're back inside the frame. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and tier two plus subscribers on Twitch keeping fun loud, live and independent. Thanks to Rev Robotics and all of our First Capital RA3D sponsors.